What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla last episode. A little anticlimactic. Thought we were going to have a big battle. Uh, but you know what? Politics reigned supreme and got involved. And we are under this king's peace treaty. We couldn't get into a scuffle. And it looks like we're going back to Sigurd to see what is going on. So follow me on this next episode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. All right, let's go ahead and find Seeger. It looks like he's only 230 meters away. We gotta get, honestly, I gotta get a little better with the controls. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I did take a major break from this game, so I'm not entirely, uh, oh crap, why would you do that? That's not, that was not my intent. Um, yeah, I took a break from this game, so I'm not 100%. On the controls, but we'll, we'll get back at it for sure. Is he? Oh my, I bet you he's at the longhouse. That's what he said he was doing. He was going back to the longhouse with his pop. So let's just scale these rocks. Don't mind if I do. I mean, this is an absolute pleasure compared to uh, Warzone, where you can't jump rocks at all. For those Warzone players, you know what I'm talking about. All right, looks like we, we are headed to the longhouse. The A thing is getting underway. I don't know what that is. Some sort of ceremony, I take it. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get busy. <laughs> We're here. still lives, Eivor. It pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Okay, all right. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> They buried his arse near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river. <laughs> I dream of something greater. Hilarious. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify and turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. So this sends me, noble girl. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this, Lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Yuvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! <coughs> I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kurtveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. Please. They poisoned my father, Kjortvi. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bakrat, you lie. Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor wolf kissed. You are Kjortvi's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? Oh, let's go, baby. You know what to do. I would send him to hell, as I did his father. Understandable. But a quick death is too good for a Draugr like him. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exile. Leave these lands by the next full moon, or I will feed you to the crows myself. Oh, get out, son! Bye-bye! King Harold, 
May I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. Let's go. Okay, let's go. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? Oh. What in hell's name are you doing, Father? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall, you drink addled cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Damn. Your words hit deep, Seeger. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, Stebjörn Jarl, and I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear change, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. Okay, that was a little bit of a twist. I don't know, I don't know if I trust his intentions. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stebjörn's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. Hmm. Oh, this is... Ugh. My fate is tied to my brothers. Where Sigurd goes, I follow. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. Okay. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. Wow. What? What a crazy turn of events. Unbelievable. I wonder what's going to be happening. What is Sigurd going to choose? I feel he was in line for king and now it's, you know, his pops was like, nope, I give it up to this new young blood. I'd be, I'd be a little little ticked off too but i mean come on like give up a smaller clan to be part of this giant army i mean i don't know it's a tough call tough call Harald's colors he's already marking his territory <clears throat> marking gods he's spraying like a horny pup Harald may be young but he's clever do not underestimate him he came of age very quickly okay we gotta find Sigurd. It's about eight years there. from there. What here. are you doing? If you wish to have words, come closer. I don't. I don't wish to have words. Get out! No, no, no. I do not wish to have words. Okay, so. You look like you know a thing or two about dice. Not today, good sir. I gotta find Sigurd. I need your eyes, my friend. Is that is he just in this long hut? long hut? Sit a while and play, friend. Alright. <clears throat> no. Not interested, but I will go in here maybe? No? Okay. 
There has to be a way in, right? Maybe let's climb this tree. Oh. Yep. Climb up. Let's go. Yes. And then right onto the roof we go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on, baby. Keep climbing. We're in there. Let's go. Drop it down, baby. Drop it down. Yep. Drop it down one more. And drop it down again. Let's go, baby. Woo! We made it. Dude, look at that freaking woolly mammoth skull. That's sick. Okay. Where would we live? The English will fight back. The wars will never end. Or they will push us into the Christian ways. Quiet, oh. all. Give. Are we even supposed to be here? Okay, that's the secret. Two days ago, we rid this land of Kurtve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway, not under Harold's boot, not without fueling more war. So we push forward to newer lands. Dude, I don't know. I don't think to that's England. a good call. And there make a new home, a kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages. I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home, but the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Kjotve's riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, fine. If you object, I understand. Let your father keep Kjotve's riches. England will have riches and cargo enough for us. Good. I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. Wow, we are making moves. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. Okay. Interesting. Looks like we're headed to England. Alright, so now we gotta speak to uh, Sigurd at the dock, so let's go ahead over there. Can we take- oh, 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 okay. Apparently there's no fall damage.
just run straight to the docks. Don't don't mind us. I don't like the way those soldiers watch me. I find it flattering. You think one will marry? Here we go. Let's go, baby. What's up? Avon, hey, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. It's true. I'll give you that. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? It's time to go, ready. baby. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look. Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Uh-oh, what's gonna happen here? Sigrun? What is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga in England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. Hmm. It is easy to lose one's way on the road to glory. Do not let false victories blind you to what is true. You talk of false victories to me, old man? A sad old bear who destroyed his honor with one bent knee. The further I sail from this place, the louder I will sing. A man on a mission. Anger, Lord. No, you must be his better half. May Agdiv bless your voyage. Oh my goodness, dude. We are off. This is it. Unbelievable. The time for tears is over, you weeping sacks of wool. Put some muscle into those pools. Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back route. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar established a settlement near the coast. We set sail for that. Ragi, sing a song to lift our hoover. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor. And on its far side... I mean, we're crossing an ocean? Like, awaits. don't you think we would need no a bigger England boat? Well from your travels. I spent a season in their kingdom of Mercia. A temperate land. Lush and wild. I mean, honestly, we would need a bigger Ragnar boat for this. Heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England, glory and destiny. To England. To England. Valhalla. I'm so confused. Off to England we go. What? What it who is this? What is What in the world? Okay. Whoa. The heck is this? What is happening? Girl, you better slow down with those pills. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Some danger coming up. Ew, what 
the Yeah, don't forget your uh your AirPods there. In a lecture at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. Jeez. This That's has a lot. resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening. And if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve wow. okay. forever. Yeah, that Dr. sounds pretty Sierka serious. Went on to say, Bought you more electrolytes. Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. Layla and Sean, dude, who are these people? Okay, earthquake, obviously. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? Interesting. What? Okay. I was not expecting this. Again, this is my first time playing Assassin's Creed, so I don't really know the ins and outs. I don't know the lore, the story. Uh, hopefully, maybe you guys can enlighten me in the comments down below. So if you guys have any idea what's happening, uh, let me know in the comments. Anyhow, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And ring-a-ding the bell for notifications so you guys don't miss out on any of the action. Uh, I am thoroughly confused on what's going on, but I'm really excited to continue on with this story. So hopefully I'll see you guys next time. But for now, peace out and be good.